Hello there and welcome to another Dunning Grammar School vlog with all our news um, of what's happening in our school. So this week you're going to be hearing about a COVID update. You'll be hearing again about some of our S1 updates. A little bit about the eSchool supported study and our own supported study programme that will be starting up soon. Some information about our school photographs and finally some information about our extracurricular clubs that are now up and running. So enjoy listening to this week's news. So as I said in last week's vlog, we have had a number of cases both within our staff um, and our young people positive cases of COVID-19. We continue to follow public health's guidance and we've been sending out letters, warning letters to the, the classes where those cases uh, have taken place. We've also been sending out um, letters to close contacts um, as well. So if you get one of them, please act on the advice that, that comes. Mr Priest, our COVID coordinator, has developed uh, guidance for our parents and carers and guidance for our staff. That guidance has now been shared on our social media sites and as well a hard copy has gone to young people um, and a copy has been emailed out via expression. So please look at that because there's some frequently asked questions on there which will help you should your child take, uh, take a positive lateral flow test, test and then what the next steps are and when young people shouldn't be attending school. I know it's been a really hard term, it's been a really hard uh, session so far, term, it's only three weeks, um, a really hard start to the term um, this year with a number of staff absent, um, a number of young people absent. We're doing our utmost to ensure that young people are not affected and, and dis disengaged from their learning, that we're putting work up in Google Classroom for our S3 to S6 young people, and Mr Gallen has set up a programme for our S1 to S2 young people. Um, and he's meeting with them at nine o'clock each morning. So they should be logging on to the S1 Remote Learning 21-22 um, Google Classroom and our S3 to S6 young people should be logging on to their own classrooms at the appropriate times within the timetable. So please bear with us. If there's anything that you see that we're not doing, please get in contact with us um, and we'll do everything we can to ensure our young people are going to achieve their potential this year within our school. <laughs> Our S1s continue to grow um, as um, the weeks go on. Um, it's been lovely seeing them outside in the courtyard um, playing and, and enjoying themselves, etc. Um, this week we'll see the end of our young people in S1 getting out five minutes before break and lunch time. So they will have their full time within their lessons um, and they'll go out um, at the relevant times at the BGE break and the BGE lunch and at the end of the day. Again, there's been a credit to parents and carers. We've been really impressed by their smartness, their um, the way that their manners, the way that they act around the school. So all I say is keep that up, um, and you're going to have a great year um, as we go through the school. We're aware that um, over the last year and a half, it's been really difficult um, for our young people and they feel that they're trying to catch up with some of their learning, particularly those that are sitting in their National Fives and higher and advanced higher courses. So as part of our COVID um, recovery, Mr Gallina has arranged for our young people to register for the eSchool supported study. Um, he gave an input um, on Thursday to our young people about how to register for um, eSchool and we want as many of the young people to register for them uh, for these sessions as possible. The sessions will take place in the evening, they're free um, and they usually take place around 6 o'clock and there are 40 subjects, over 40 subjects available at different levels um, for um, our S4 to S6 young people to, to register for. Our staff will be encouraging them to, to register via Show My Homework which we'll be reintroducing and we'll give you a bit more information about that next week. Um, but they'll be at, um, asked to register, go on to these sessions um, and it will just reinforce what they're learning in class. So please do register for them, for the sessions. We'll also be um, issuing out our own supported study programme, um, which will start after the October holidays. So we'll get that information out to all parents and carers and we encourage as many of our S4 to S6 young people to attend these sessions, again, to reinforce what's been learned in their classes. We want all our young people to achieve their potential this year and this is one way that we can try to support that. 
School photographs were taken, obviously, on the 17th of August. Um, order forms have been issued out for S1, S5 and S6 young people if you can complete them and return those to the school office or you can order online. This year, for the first time, our S3 young people who had an individual photograph taken can only order um, online through Tempest and it explains that on the information sheet that came out to you with your son or daughter's photograph. The year group photographs have not been uploaded yet, so we're trying to get um, more information from Tempest there to ensure that the S1, S5 and S6 year uh, group photographs are uploaded to Tempest. You can order them, order them from online as well, but we'll get more information to you as quickly as we can for that. So get the order forms back to school office as quickly as you can if you want to order through the school office. Some of our extracurricular clubs have now started. Um, so you'll see on our school Facebook and on our website, the clubs on what, that are taking place on what evening. We're also just in the process of collating all our lunchtime clubs, um, such as the Harry Potter Club and the Star Wars Club, and we'll get more information out about that next week. Um, but if, it would be encouraged, particularly our S1s um, and S2 young people to sign up for as many clubs as they can at lunchtime um, and, and then after school. There was shinty on on a Tuesday evening. We've got basketball. Um, we've got golf this year with Mr Abbott and Miss, Mr McClung. So please do encourage your son or daughter to take up the great opportunities that have been offered by the Noon Grammar School. Thanks so much for joining us again. We really do appreciate you continuing to view all our vlogs um, and hear about all our news. Um, I hope you have another great week and hopefully the weather will stay good for us. Um, in the meantime, keep safe and stay well.